Hello everyone, this is Abhid Mishra from Texas Instruments. Uh, in this channel, I would be creating three videos. Uh, the first video will be talking about uh, the overview and the background of the 6 loop amp specification standard uh, and its implementation on the Quantity OS. In the second video, I would be detailing uh, on um, the setup uh, of the environment for the end application development and uh, building and making the existing demo applications already available as a part of uh, open source on the key download installer. Uh, and in the last video, I would be showing you uh, the setup. Uh, how does it look like and uh, what all things to uh, basically try and test uh, to ensure that your entire setup is correct. And uh, also I would uh, show you how uh, the, the uh, 13xx um, platform uh, based 6 loop and demo uh, looks like. So let's 6 loop and 6 loop and so what is it? The first and foremost question comes into our mind is what is 6 loop and? So 6 loop and essentially stand for uh, uh, low power personal area networks uh, supporting IPv6 addressing. So essentially IPv6 over low power wireless personal area network. Uh, as the figure in uh, front of you uh, shows that you have a low power personal area network that is you have a low PAN which is ultimately connected to a edge router which not only offers the management of the low PAN but also offers the standard backhaul connectivity. Uh, the addressing of the edge router and the individual nodes can be done through IPv4 address or IPv6 address from any node connected worldwide to the cloud. So that is essentially the biggest advantage which 6 loop pan from a standard perspective offers that every individual LPRF, low power RF, wireless node in a mesh network is addressable, controllable, and identifiable. What are the target markets of uh, 6 loop pan? Although there are many more uh, other markets apart from this slide, but the most popular ones are this, the, the, the applications, the end applications are the markets where individually every node is needed to be IP addressable, residential and commercial lighting, and the IoT automation. The diversification of the end applications, as I said, is continuously progressing and is in fact rising in a steep slope. So uh, it, is, it is actually finding its popular demand and application in smart grid uh, with, with the metering, with the, with the uh, line monitors and uh, relay controllers, also the street lighting. So uh, the thing is this because uh, this, this entire specification is pretty broad, pretty, uh, pretty uh, standard and um, uh, it, it, uh, it, it's actually therefore becoming pretty popular. Uh, now, moving forward to the advantages which it offers, 6 loop and solution uh, overall is completely based on open IP standards, which makes it very, very reliable and very, very standard in it, in its own shape. So it uses open standards such as TCP, UDP, HTTP, CoAP, and QTT with sockets, end-to-end -end IP addressable nodes, provides seamless integration to internet, that is from the cloud, you can access and control every individual node in any part of the world. Mesh routing for the very long uh, range communication, especially in those applications where uh, you cannot afford to lose a connection, you cannot afford to lose a link. Uh, in those applications, it, it just does the job. Um, Self-healing uh, is, is what, what, what it actually means. Multiple file support, the best best uh, advantage which I have seen in Ciclovan is uh, the IPv6 connectivity and the independent uh, file selection that is you you are independent to select any file it is not dependent on any physical layer you can uh, base your solution on sub 1 gigahertz you can base on 2.4 gigahertz as per your config uh, 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 configuration your specification and comfort level you are free to use the physical layer okay let's talk in uh, now a detail about what is 6 loop and uh, open source contiguous operating system included in the ipv6 protocol stack uh, can be customized if needed, no license cost, free cost, PSD license. So, uh, actually, Contigy 6 Pan uh, solution got its name uh, 
from uh, uh, the Contiki OS. So uh, Contiki OS, which was uh, designed by a brilliant scientist, a uh, brilliant uh, person by name Mr. Adam Duncans. Uh, and uh, he was the one who designed Contiki OS. And uh, uh, then subsequently, the Sichlopan specifications were implemented and integrated into Contiki OS. So uh, it it has it is it is actually an amazing job which has been done by Mr. Adam Duncans, and I really salute him for that. Uh, the way he has implemented it, the way he has designed it, it's it's such a compact and such a powerful and reliable offer. It has been there for a very long time. In the next slide, we'll discuss about that too. So um, thanks, thanks for everything, Mr. Adam And we should all be uh, actually thankful to him. Now, uh, connect any low power radio device to internet or any other IP network, open uh, internet standards, IPv6, IPv4, UDP, CCP. And uh, modest resource requirements, a very, very good, very, very big advantage from implementation perspective that it has a very, very small footprint. It has it only consumes 50k of flash and 12k of RAM on the bit platform. Possible to run router uh, or the gateway on another device. From the platform's perspective, although it supports multiple platforms, but from the core, it uh, definitely supports Cortex uh, M3 core from ARM. And the radios, uh, which are from uh, TI. Uh, supported into uh, quantity offering is uh, CC266X family and CC136X family. This is the 2.4 gigahertz and the sub 1 gigahertz family, and also the CC2538, which is the um, uh, Cortex N3 Zigbee SOC, uh, or rather uh, Cortex N3 IEEE 8G.15.4 uh, radio SOC. Full support for range extenders for sub 1 gigahertz, you can use CC1190 seamlessly, you can uh, use CC2594 2.4 gigahertz band. Uh, the choice is yours. Open source quantity. Uh, so for those people who have uh, their own doubts and their own concerns from the reliability of the open source offering, uh, quantity has been there for more than 10 years. And it is based on micro IP TCP IP stack, which was itself based on the LWIP stack. It was first released in 2003, March. And uh, since then it has uh, taken its own evolution. It has gone through several revisions, several uh, refining uh, exercises. A lot of people have very actively and very sincerely, very dedicatedly contributed it. And every the best, the best is that everything they these guys have pushed to open source unselfishly. I mean, I mean, they, it's it's really it's really very very um, uh, it's, it's really a great uh, thing which these people have done by contributing the entire stuff, entire effort of their CVT to open source community. Okay, so TI contributes uh, NQTT and CC266 uh, in March 2015 and uh, since then uh, in October 2015 we have actually pushed the CC136 support also into Contigo Open Source. So um, let's let's now talk about in detail of how the Contiki uh, Open Source 6 based based solution looks like from overall. So you have a physical layer which is actually uh, CC136 or CC266 or CC2538 based uh, uh, radio side and on, on, on the physical uh, layer then you have IEEE periodic of 15.4 Mac and on top of it you have the 6 pan abstraction layer which essentially gives you abstraction uh, and the, the, the uh, addressing of the individual low pan node to the upper layer of the, the application. On top of the abstraction layer you have the IPv6, IPv4 uh, addressing mechanisms and then you have a ripple. Uh, ripple is uh, the the routing algorithm. On top of it, then you have the uh, the data exchange support. Whether you want to use TCP/IP, UDP, or ICMP, and then on, on top of it, the 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 applications. Whether you want to run the co-app server, the MQTT, HTTP, or on top of it, your own proprietary application, or along with these also your own your own uh, application. So from from the this is this is from the architecture perspective, but from the software tools perspective. You have Wireshark packet sniffer, Wireshark uh, using uh, the send sniff uh, as uh, as the script, the Python script for the for the packet sniffing for CC one three eight six based uh, uh, networks, and uh, the USB CC two five three one USB dongle in TI is uh, uh, WSPC uh, script uh, for uh, accessing the two point four gigahertz um, uh, six channel networks. You have the Kuja network simulator in case you don't want to create your own network right away and then you want to first ensure or you want to uh, develop uh, the application uh, uh, without the hardware then, then the Kuja network simulator actually helps you out of it. Uh, 
uh, and this is a compiler for building and making all the applications all the all the end application uh, development effort which you do he contributes all contiki sets up and development efforts to the contiki community community as just like other guys uh, new platforms announcements new protocols example mqtt devices defined edge router gateway router can route to sleep host does not route even tools are free and open source who are getting started watch up the page so this is all for the for the first video uh, in the second video i would be discussing about uh, various hardware and uh, software setting up uh, uh, process so see you in the second video